Uh, um, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. This is Whiskey Happens. That's Wait, Garrett Johnson. You can't just go like that. Yes, that I can. Like... Yes, I can. All right. All right. Well, now I have Hi. to do it over. Hi. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> So, everybody, <laughs> welcome back. This is a new segment that we're going to try. We've been doing ones on reviews. Um, we're still going to give a review on these different bourbons that we're trying and stuff, but we're also going to give a little bit of a rating scale what Gary and I think if you should get it or not, and kind of a little rating scale. So, um, with that being said, Gary, what do you have in front of you? Right. Like... <laughs> I, I, I know it's Midwinter Nice Dram. Yep. I know that it is the most recent axe. No. Yeah, recent axe, right? Correct. Yeah. See, I barely know. <laughs> but um, we are going to be tasting Midwinter Nights Dram Act 8, Scene 9? Act 8, it's Act 8, Scene 1, and Act Damn. 9, Scene 3. And so just to give you guys a little backstory on this, uh, Garrett and I absolutely loved the Midwinter's Night Dram Act 8. We've in Austin when we met up one Christmas, um, been hunting for it forever. He found that one for me. Then um, our boy John found the Act 9 for me as well. So I've got both. I've only had Act 8. I've actually never tasted Act 9 yet. We'll see. But yeah, um, well, you only, you know what you sent me. I only numbered it based on your memory system so you still have the reveal this is true which i'm excited about um because i'm i'm want to see what you think so let's start in and let's go ahead and grab one and let's uh see what we think okay very bright yep and just to be just be on the safe side we're not probably tasting the same one we might be we might not be on this one so oh yeah yeah but so you're getting bright, like bright notes. Like, are you getting any floral notes or anything like you getting floral, those, that rye spice? A li- the, the words pumice is coming to my palate. Pumice. Oh. Yeah. Like, this is definitely, I hate to be punny, a wintry smell. <laughs> yeah. So I'm getting, this is not, um, this is a very winter fall smell to it as well. My nose is a little clogged, so I'm a little off today. but. Um, it's beautiful smell to it. I, I, there's nothing wrong with it. So let's taste this one. Okay. Okay. There's that spice for sure. Yeah. Uh, rich caramel, buttery. Get a little cardamom in that. Um, really like that. Um, but definitely the caramel, the the richness in there. The legs on these things are just phenomenal. It's just really yeah. good. That's probably not going to come up, but I got a nice little swirl thing going on there. Mm-hmm. Um, a little peppery on the back end, but yeah. it's like. But it's still sweet. So that's what I love about the Midwinter's Night Dram. So you get that peppery, that spice note, but then when you let it linger and like, on my lips, I can actually taste sweetness. Like it's like a, like a buttery sweetness, which that's why I love Dram. Um, I kind of yeah, think say- I know what this one is. So, but we'll hold off. I want to taste the other one and have a comparison. So I think this finishes like burnt oranges. That's a good, I I'll like that. that there. Yeah. I like that. All right. Let's get into the next one. So same similar smell, but to me, this one is much richer. This is deeper. This is richer. Um, well, then this is interesting because I was going to say this is milder. So maybe we've done exact opposites, maybe. Yeah. Yep. But also yours is probably a fresher pour. Mine had to get to Virginia. Yeah, somehow. <laughs> All right, let's taste it. Oh, okay. Now, comparatively, I enjoy this much more. It's uh, uh, balanced all the way through, rich 
caramel apple, um, a hint of stone fruit, and uh, a smile on my face. Yeah, this one to me, same thing. Um, it's much smoother all the way through the palate. It's from the front to the back. It's it's phenomenal. Like this has a much cleaner finish um, as far as like what I'm experiencing in the first glass. Mm -hmm. I would say it's more like a. Um, hmm, I'm not pausing. I'm breathing it in. Um, like if that one was peppery, this one is more like a, um, a winter spice. Okay. Like a, not licorice, anise. It's okay. like a sweet anise. Sorry. Thanks. And see, I kind of get, I kind of get like baking spices in the last one. So I get kind of like, um, like a, like a really rich banana bread, kind of like, um, cookies, that type of flavor with the first one, I get more of the acidity and more of the, like you said, kind of like a burnt orange, like a, not bad at all. Just it's, it's a much more spicy note to it. So, um, all right. So I think in my case, the first one I tasted, I think is nine. And I think the second one I tasted is eight. I think the same exact thing, but. Okay. <laughs> so what's, what, so what number uh, I'll do mine first since I, I, I want to see yours. So, and I was right. I was right. So the first one I tasted was act nine and the second one I tasted was act eight. So one and two. So I was spot on with that. And it's just, it's like, we so said, what's number two then? Eight. Eight was amazing. All right. So for you, what was number one? Uh, which one What's was your favorite? Two? What's huh? number two? Number two was Who act does number eight. two work for? Eight. Act eight is number two. Yeah, that's what I liked. All right. And act, act one is, so we had the exact same time. That's hilarious. We tasted the exact same ones, both at the same time. And we both liked act eight better. And it ha it's like we've been saying, we've been, we've been talking about Act 8 for, what, a year almost, be a year coming up here shortly. Um, Act 8 is phenomenal. There's nothing wrong with Act 9. It's just, if you can find Act 8 it, and you like, like, baking spices and you like, like, um, Christmas cookies and things like that, that is it. It is, it is spot on with those type of, that type of flavoring, so. Yeah, hands down, I'm I'm back in the market for an eight. Maybe I should have never given that to you. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure our boy John can find one for you. He can pretty much find anything. So true. All right. So going on our new rating scale, Travis. You're drinking this neat yep. on the rocks or in a fucking coke. Nine is on the rocks because I think it would calm it down a little bit and give it a little bit more. Act eight is all day, every day neat. How about yourself? Yeah, I can't put that much enthusiasm in it, but what he said. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think um, eight is definitely a neat. Uh, I could go out right now in this 20 degree weather and have this on the back porch. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Um, totally agree. That one, maybe smoke a cigar. Maybe, oh. uh, you know, maybe it lends itself. It did have that peppery finish. So mm -hmm. maybe this is, what do they call it? Cigar blend? What's that? Mm -hmm. Joseph Magnet? I never had it. I haven't either. But, um, yeah, eight still, still, still the one that did it for me. Take us home, Gary. All right. Well, it doesn't matter if you like it meat on the rocks or on a fucking coke. Whiskey Wednesday happens. Cheers. Cheers.